Hello everybody and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events and we are going to have severe weather today. I'm fairly confident that portions of the Channel 7 viewing area that we're going to be put under a tornado watch. More on that in just a little bit. Recording this again Monday, May 9th at about 7.44 in the morning. And I'm going to go over everything you need to know about this Tuesday and beyond, but especially we're going to focus in on what's going to happen today and we're really going to target the area of western Arkansas, even though I think there will be severe weather further towards the east, but let's target areas of, uh, of western Arkansas for the focus of, uh, of the main activity, but not ignoring the other portions of the state. What you're looking at here is what's called 500 millibars and what you're looking here is, you see this trough, it becomes, let me go to the uh, 18 hours, it's, a, has a, it's taking on a bit of a negative tilt, and that usually means the threat for severe weather gets enhanced. But this is a, a, a disturbance which will be rotating on through the state tonight. Uh, actually, I should say late this afternoon and tonight, and that should be the catalyst for severe thunderstorms. And, of course, it will have plenty of instability to work with. Now, the difference, now look at this, and let me just show you what happens tomorrow. See how that rapidly lifts off towards the north here? It's late Tuesday. That rapidly lifts up towards the Great Lakes, and there's not much of a triggering mechanism across our section of the country. There will be a tremendous amount of instability coming up on Tuesday, but there's not a real focus for triggering these thunderstorms. But if one does fire off, it will become severe on Tuesday. Now, the coverage would be very isolated. I think the bigger threat is going to be late this afternoon and into the evening hour. So I just wanted to show you that. And then, by the way, uh, this gets a kick off towards the east. A new front comes in late Wednesday and into Thursday morning with another round of showers and thunderstorms. Now, this is our high-resolution rapid refresh model. This is the HRRR. Uh, and it's experimental. This version of it is experimental out to 24 hours. And it's overdoing the amount of precipitation across the state right now. So as I always tell you, these are never perfect, but it is doing, um, It will. I think it's gonna be doing a, a fairly decent job later this afternoon as that disturbance starts to come through and the atmosphere is moist and unstable. This will start here at one o'clock in the afternoon. Notice how we have quite a bit of, uh, I think this area of the state will have some rain and some thunderstorms, probably not the coverage like this, but what this may do for northern Arkansas is keep the instability down just a little bit and then watch what happens by 7 o'clock. I think these thunderstorms start to develop by late this afternoon, 4, 5, 6, 7 o'clock, and some of these will have the opportunity, uh, opportunity to become severe. I'll show you the threats in just a little bit. But this is what simulated radar according to the HRR should look like at 7 o'clock, at 8 o'clock, nine o'clock, and this isn't good because I think this threat continues uh, right along the 67-167 corridor around Little Rock and up uh, down, up and down I-30 in the 67-167 corridor. And then it starts to shift into eastern Arkansas by 10, 11, and 12. It really starts to fizzle out, I think, by about midnight tonight. I think the severe aspect of it, the intensity decreases. Although there will still be the threat for severe weather, I think the intensity is going to begin to decrease. Now let's talk about these threats because I like to present this in a different way than what the uh, Storm Prediction Center has. Uh, first of all, let me show you what the Storm Prediction Center has. This is a, the severe risk today. And you see slight. This means more scattered thunderstorms that could be severe. This means a more organization, this enhanced area, more organization and more numerous thunderstorms and uh, stronger ones, more severe thunderstorms possibly in this area that's highlighted in this enhanced area. Notice it's not far northern or eastern Arkansas in this area. The reason I think is because it might be a little bit more stable here. And of course, by the time the storms get into eastern Arkansas later uh, this evening and into the overnight, they're gonna start to lose some of their punch. Still could be severe, but they're gonna lose some of their threat. Now, this is where I like to present things differently because uh, I think this better communicates the threat. The Storm Prediction Center will say, okay, in this area, there's a 10% chance for a tornado within 25 miles of a given point. <laughs> so I, I'm not a big fan of that. So I like to you know, keep it simple, low, medium, high, extreme. I think that there's a medium threat that if you have a thunderstorm, it will have a tornado warning on it. How does that sound? I think that's a better way of putting that if you're under a tornado, um, if you have a thunderstorm, uh, in this medium threat area, in, there's a medium threat that uh, it'll have a tornado warning on it in this area. 
How about that? I like. I think that that kind of shows the threat a little bit more. And then also the hail threat is categorized as high in this area where the instability really develops. And when we talk about severe hail, we're talking about hail one inch in diameter or greater. That's the severe threshold. And severe wind threshold is 58 miles per hour greater. And there's a medium threat across much of the state. So to sum up that storm threat index, hail high, medium for wind and tornadoes. And especially the tornado threat is mainly over western Arkansas. The flooding threat, I've got it low, but if you're under a thunderstorm, you can see street flooding, but these should be moving these and not continuing over the same areas. So that could minimize the flooding threat. But if you're under one, of course, there's gonna be some street flooding as would always be the case. So I fully expect a tornado watch to be issued. And just, I know a lot of you who, who come to the blog already know the difference between a watch and a warning, uh, but just know the watch means they're favorable. A tornado warning means one of two things or both. Doppler radar has indicated it, or there's actually been one sighted. Uh, so that's what the tornado warning means. You need to take cover. Uh, and always, always safety first. We never want you to put yourself in any sort of danger whatsoever. But this is, uh, I, I want to show you, we have a, a huge problem in the broadcast. You know, it, this thing has been fantastic. I mean, we can't deny the what this has done for weather forecasting, for communicating, you know, the obvious. However, in the world of television, your television isn't like this. It's like this, right? So please don't take pictures like this and send them in. Take them like this, horizontally. Safety first. And uh, on Twitter, always, please, always use the hashtag ARWX and send them to the Channel 7 weather team. You can see our handles at the bottom of the screen, although I have KTV Ned. They're cut off a little bit, but you see at KTV Ned. And then at KTV News on Twitter for instant watches and warnings. So again, the main time period that we're watching is going to be late this afternoon and into the early evening hours for the threat for strong to severe thunderstorms, enhanced area, focusing in on western, southwestern Arkansas, on that corridor where I do think we're going to have a tornado watch and I would not be a bit surprised to have tornado warnings. We are going to be here for you on Channel 7, online, on social media. So just please stay weather aware. We're going to do our very best to make sure that you have a heads up on what's coming. Thank you very much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.